Today we're going to be discussing three head and neck restraint systems that are compliant with both SFI and FIA certifications. The first one being the Safety Solutions Hybrid Pro Ridge. Then the R3, which is also made by Safety Solutions. And lastly, the more well-known Hans Zenit. Two of their experienced racers and myself got together one evening and we kind of played around with these different systems. We went into a race car and put them on, fooled around with them a little bit. With the hybrid pro rage, the first thing that we all agreed on is that all these straps were a little bit hokey. It just felt awkward. I'm not sure quite what it is, but it almost felt like you were strapping into a parachute. If you put it on, you get used to it. It's not that horrible. It has this strap right here, which you clip right into. It also has these O-rings right here, which what these are used for is you put these into your submarine belts. The theory behind this is it provides a little bit more side impact. So it actually holds you into the place. And that relies exclusively on the belts. To latch into this, it takes a little bit of getting used to. And I'm still new to this, so it's going to take me a little bit longer than probably normal. But again, it just felt a little awkward getting into this. So one side done right now. And the other side. What happens is these yellow pieces. Put a piece of velcro here, just attach it to this. What happens is you just take this and you pull down and you get out of it quickly, and you're released from the head metric tank system itself. The next thing we tried was the Safety Solutions R3. As you can see, it has a lot less belts than the other one. Very easy to get on. And just like the other one, you clip it right in. This is the same type of thing right here. You velcro this to this part, center part of the helmet and the same helmet attachment point. We spoke to the inventor of the Safety Solutions products about the R3. And he basically concluded that the R3 is much more utilized in applications such as off-road racing. Part of the reason for that is this system here is less dependent upon the belts. As you can see right here, it's got a really small area, very small wing. As you look at the Hybrid Pro, and it's much more wing-based. The Hybrid Pro, what he stated also, was that they use a composite rubber, and really, it's, it's really hard to slip against this. Part of the reason for that is that, especially some of the older Hans units, had a tendency of the belts coming off. Um, one of our testers, Greg, actually has an older Hans unit, has less high of wing, and he, during an accident walking into line, he actually had the belts come off. The complaint that I personally had about this is that in order to basically be comfortable with this, you need to use this foam padding with your seat. One of our other editors, Jake Gulick, he tried this on, did not use the padding, felt very comfortable with it. Uh, myself personally and some of the other ones that we had testing this did not feel so comfortable with this on in the car. The next system is the Hans unit and to be honest with you, I am not a fan of the Hans company itself. Um, there's more about that information in the politics in the article. So I tried this on thinking I was not going to like this. But you know what? You put it on, it's so simple. It's just, all you do is put the side, you attach it to the head, and you're done. You have these belts, go right over this, just like the other units do. Um, this system here is a medium. I would have a large, as you can tell, it's a little hard for me to my neck. But this is it. This one here happens to be a Sport 2. There's also another model, which is uh, less expensive right now. It's a Sport 1. The difference being is the Sport 1 is more of a rectangle. 
Highland kind of seats, the reason why they did uh, the change to this fork too is for rate savings, which honestly, it's not important. The other one is for rest out of the, the car. Um, what they found is some instances with that type of design, people were getting caught up on the roll bar and nets were else during an emergency. This one definitely is probably better for egress. If you're watching this directly from YouTube, this video is really just a supplement to the article that we have posted on the GoAheadTakeTheWheel.com website. If you look below the video, you'll find the full URL. I suggest you go down there, check it out. You'll find test results, um, some other information about the different head and neck restraint systems, as well as some different politics that are involved.